365 days ago, we lost a part of ourselves. A day that lived in infamy. A championship that didn't go our way. Change was about to come. Blood, sweat, tears, growth, determination, love for our brothers, success. An off season that changed our hearts forever. Our guys immediately hit the lab, the weight room. You know, late scientist and founding father of our beautiful nation, Benjamin Franklin, once said, without continual growth and progress, such words as improvement, achievement, and success have no meaning. What have you done today to be 1% better than yesterday? Hi everybody, I'm a second year second center head coach, Trey Wood. Um, this is my offensive coordinator, Harrison Eckel, former Taylor University football player, and Alexander Bumgarner, a defensive coordinator. You know, last year I went into my first season and I was like, we're gonna just wing this thing, we're gonna go into it. We've got a lot of good athletes. Um, you can't really teach athleticism. You could teach smarts, you can't always teach athleticism. You can't teach size you can't teach speed but that's what we had you know um, we didn't always have the football smarts we also didn't have a great coaching staff last year so I fired everybody except for myself and I revamped you know I said at the last part of the season I was like football is a game of inches football is a game where you lose and you die for the brother next to you my coaching staff last year just they didn't provide that for the team um, I needed a change and that's why I hired these two. You know, we went into the draft this past year. We saw some great rookie potential. Regarding our recent draft picks, um, we booked up Aiden Guckenberger from Cincinnati. Uh, early first round talent, phenomenal receiver, phenomenal DB. To grab him at the end of the first round was really just a steal and really helped out our program. Yeah, I was, uh, I was really excited when I heard I was gonna join 2C. Um, the loss last year I heard was really bad and um, they gave me an opportunity to play this year, and I was excited because I could contribute my my uh, skills and and try to contribute to that win that we had. Aiden was a, a star for our team this year with the addition of him playing alongside uh, Damon Knowles to, uh, to to just complement our offense, complement our defense. Yeah, sorry, Lamar, as our uh, offensive coordinator calls him. We had heard uh, rumors of Chad Nelson and Damon Knowles getting offered super maxes from off campus. So to pull them down for one more year was just really big for the success of our program. Uh, when I wasn't preparing to win the national championship in pole vault, I was throwing passes to my receivers to win the intramural flag football championship. I was running 40 yard dashes, repeats every single day. Uh, lifting heavy weights. So yeah, I quit my walk-on track career to pursue a career in flag football. Everyone's always saying that the money is in football. I'm not really sure if this is what they meant. Um, but yeah, it was a fun season. It was a good time. I mean, our team just, we wanted to change. We hired a, hired a nutritionist, uh, a mental health coach, uh, we we had Harrison end up uh, working in the strength department. My name is Dr. Stemple. I'm the registered dietitian on the team. Trey Wood hired me. Um, I think that eating and performance has a very big correlation. So I put on a very strict diet, very regimented, monitor everything they ate, gave them, gave them a cook so they can get whatever they want to order. Uh, make sure they get no sugar, no sweets, no snacks. Make sure it's all all nice. And and only good for their body, and I think it really helped their performance. And then we added, uh, we added our nutritionist, uh, Dr. Matthew Stemple. That was a very, very long process. You know, that process came into figuring out who the best clinician in terms of uh, nutrition there was. You know, and Matthew was above and beyond in all of his qualities. Matthew is promoting so much into. 
there's there's no pop there's no there's no candy there's no sweets um, none of that happens on our football team anymore and thankfully um, that goes for everybody on the team um, that goes for all the coaches nutritionist uh, mental health coach my name is Dr. W.T. Vanacody. I graduated from Harvard with an eight-year degree in uh, children psychology, specializing in flag football, mental illness, and blockages. So uh, daily we sit down with teammates and we talk about their problems, how they're feeling, and their rights to uh, flag football. Yeah, so uh, adjusting to college here was a little difficult. Um, it was nice having Dr. Vanacody's program here, um, helping me balance my, my school and my athlete side of college. Um, being a student athlete here is it's not the easiest, so having Dr. Vino Cody by my side and helping with my mental. So I thought Will was a great choice. I knew Will um, kind of early on in the process. I knew him while he was getting his uh, while he was getting his doctorate. I knew him during his residency. And you know, I knew Will was just a guy that I would want on my staff. And as soon as I knew Will was looking for a position as a uh, as a mental health coach for a football program, I he was the first person I called. Um, you know, we think about max contracts with players, but Doc got one of the first max contracts that I've ever given to a doctor. Um, he has promoted so much about how uh, our students, or excuse me, our athletes need to work in terms of in getting their minds right before the game. Uh, we had guys that would listen to. Um, Adele before the game. We had guys that would listen to, um, you know how like couples do the sound therapy, they'd listen to that. We had a couple guys meditate before the game, you know, find right place between themselves and the earth, okay? Those guys became the best athletes because of our doctors this year. And I honestly don't think our success would have been done without it. Nation, let's ride.